Hi everyone, my name is Frank Garcia. I'm here at scrapbook.com and we're here at our last step here with our project. We're gonna start to embellish with beautiful flowers, some embellishments. We went ahead and added our sparks earlier. We went ahead and added a little bit of glitter, a little bit of artisan powder. So we're really almost done with our project, kind of getting it together. So I'm really excited to see what it comes out like with all these flowers. So I'm gonna get started with flowers. Now flowers, of course, you know, Prima makes the most beautiful flowers. I love these flowers, they're just so textured and pretty. So I'm gonna start with this one right here. And usually when they're right out of the package, I like to kind of give them a little bit of life, just kind of get them a little bit, uh, you know, going. I'm gonna use a little bit of glue to kind of get it started. So I'm gonna take some glue. And depending on where your picture is and how big your picture is, you wanna leave a little space. So I'm gonna kind of assume that our picture is gonna be a little bigger. So I'm just gonna start right here. And usually the bigger flower is my center point. So I'm gonna work out this way. Now these flowers right here, they're just so stunning. You can see how beautiful they are. They have those rhinestone centers. I'm gonna start working with those. And I usually just like to kind of scrunch them up a little bit, give them a little bit more life. And that'll add a little nice touch. So I'm gonna start working my way over to this side. I'm gonna add couple of flowers there. Now when working with flowers people always ask me how come my flowers look like they don't belong or they're not together and I always tell people it's it's nice to kind of keep them all kind of scrunched up in a place. If you start to leave a lot of big gaps that's when flowers start to look a little weird. So you want to make sure that they're all kind of scrunched kind of like in a group. I'm going to add a flower from this pack right here. These are just really pretty also have rhinestone centers. I love them. Gonna put that right here. And there's different types of flowers. We have paper flowers, we have fabric flowers. Um, these here, for example, have like a pearlized finish, which is really pretty. Now these here are just really small, pretty. They have like a little gold center. So those we're gonna add as accents. So those are gonna be nice for like little gaps like that that you have in your project. So I'm gonna add a couple of those just to kinda fill in some of the gaps. Might add a little one down here on this side. That always looks nice. And then when we get to the other part, embellishing all of this here, you can add, of course, more flowers down here if you want. Now I'm gonna do this side. I'm gonna take a couple of more of these and just add over there. Now, depending on how big your picture is, is how many flowers you want to add. My picture is going to be maybe like about five by seven or a little eight by eight picture. It depends on how big you want to print it. This is a bigger, uh, bigger frame. So of course in my original, I use a smaller photo, but as you can see, you can definitely apply this to any size board that you'd like. Okay, I'm gonna scrunch this one up. And I love all the centers on these flowers. They're just so pretty. Now I'm gonna go ahead and embellish a little bit with some pearls. Now, these pearls are perfect because they come in different sizes. So you could see there's different sizes for you to pick from. So I'm gonna take some of these pearls and I'm gonna add them to my shells right here. So I'm gonna just add a couple. And they're really nice because you can just kind of prop them anywhere. And there's different sizes. So right here, I like how that looks. And it just kind of goes with the whole ocean theme. So that makes it look really complete and finished. Gonna add one more down here. And then if you wanted to, if you have any gaps in between your flowers, you can always add a couple of pearls in there just for fun. Maybe some little ones in between. Now I do have my little crowns. These crowns are so adorable. And you can definitely add a pearl. See how that's in there? You definitely add a pearl just to give it a little bit of a charming effect there. I'm gonna remove the jump ring and I usually just use my finger because the jump rings are pretty soft. And I'm gonna take this crown and I'm just gonna adhere it somewhere. We're gonna highlights. We can probably put it right here. Kind of like a lost treasure, sort of. I'm gonna take another one and just remove the jump ring. And you can definitely use pliers for this, but you know, I just like using my fingers. I'm gonna take a little bit of glue and 
maybe just put this one down here, right there, like a little lost treasure. Now, of course, there's different crowns that you can use, but those are just really pretty and they add a nice little effect. Now, to kind of finish off the flowers, what I want to do is I want to add a little bit more glitter. So we're going to invite our gloss gel again, and we're going to take a little brush. And we're gonna just take a little bit of the gloss gel and we're gonna just lightly brush these flowers with the gloss gel. And you have to make sure that it's just kind of like a thin layer. You don't wanna put too much on there. And that's just gonna allow us to add a little bit of glitter to the flowers. Now, I'm gonna take my glitter and I'm just gonna very lightly sprinkle it on there just to kind of tie it in with everything else. Giving it that little pretty magical underwater adventure look on there. And then to finish off, I'm gonna let this kind of settle in and you can definitely brush off the excess. We're just gonna take a fine point brush. So something like this that's pointed. I'm gonna just kind of get it a little wet and we're gonna take our sparks paint again. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do a little bit of splattering now you wanna have it a little bit controlled because the paint can get everywhere. So I'm gonna just take a little bit of that paint and I'm just gonna very lightly tap and have a little bit of the splatter come along. Tap and tap your brush. So you don't wanna do this, okay? You wanna just kinda of tap because otherwise you're gonna get really big splats and we just want accents. We just want little splats, not too big. I'm gonna move this over just a bit to get some splatters up here. And that just really adds a really nice touch, kind of, you know, tying everything in. I'm gonna do the same thing with our butterfly spells. All right. Now, once you have your picture ready to go, you can definitely add it on there. Maybe add a little bit of foam tape. And we do have one more embellishment that I wanted to show you. These are daily clips. Now these here are just really beautiful. They have this really nice kind of rusty look. Now, once you're ready to add your picture, I'm gonna just take this one here. This one says memories. What I did is I went ahead and took a little bit. You can take a little bit of this sparks paint if you want. Let's do that. And I'm gonna take my brush. I'm gonna dip it in there and I'm just gonna brush it on top of that memories. I'm gonna add a little bit of water. And then I'm gonna take my little paper towel and just brush off that. And you can see how that adds a little bit of that paint in there, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my glue. I'm gonna add a little bit of glue to the back and I'm just gonna position it where my photo goes. So about right there. So that when I'm ready to put my picture, I can just clip it on there and it's ready to go. If I wanna change out my picture, I can always change it out but that clip will stay there always. Now this is looking fabulous the way it is. I truly love the look of it. Now, if you always wanna add a little bit of extra, cause we know we love extra, we have puffy stickers from the collection and I kinda like these seahorses. So I'm just gonna pop in a couple of these. Now these are sticky already, but I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of glue since we are adhering onto an uneven surface. So I'm gonna just take a little bit of glue. Just gonna add that little guy right there. I'm gonna take, the other one and I'm just gonna pop them over here on this side and these puffy stickers are super super cute I think they add a really nice touch to your project I love this special handling it's a really cute sticker so I'm gonna go ahead and pop that on on this side and I know of course there's some hearts we always love some hearts so we can always add those there if we wanted to well, I really hope you enjoyed creating this project with me. I truly love it and I know you will love it too. Remember, anything can happen with mixed media. You saw how I just did this and I know you will be able to do it too. Thank you for joining me. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more from scrapbook.com, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a message. Happiness is life handmade.